Hey guys, it's me Slade, and I'm showing you guys a way how to restore your Nexus 7 device back to its original state. Now remember this way of method is actually restoring it back to its stack image form, hence factory images that we're going to use in this video. And I know some of you guys watch porn over there and you know kind of brick your device while downloading some certain things. But all kid aside, I know some of you guys download themes, kernels, and ROMs, and sometimes they don't really go well. So this way is actually kind of premature of its kind. Um, the way we're going to do it is kind of go all the way back to its stock form, and we'll actually remove all type of data on your device. So it's recommended for you to back up your information inside your device first, if you wish to actually have all your media and pictures and all those musics inside. And also to recognize that you ha I'm not responsible for, for anything that you do. You have to follow exactly what I do and not type in a certain way of miscorrection because we are going to type in some commands to actually restore this back to normal. It's not a like one click method. So the first thing you need actually is a Nexus 7 device that you see right there. You need a USB cable, <laughs> obviously. You need an ADB. Um, SDK when for your Windows or your Linux or Mac setup already. Um, this video specifically is target, targeted to uh, Windows users, and I'll see if I could do other videos on for Mac and Linux. So the first thing you need to do actually is go on a website called uh, the developer's website for, on Google to get the factory images for your Nexus device. Now you have to scroll all the way down to factory images Nakasi. For Nexus 7. Now make sure that you see the MD5 right here checksum. This is to secure to make sure that you have a, a secure download and it's actually correct compared to the um, download that you have. This is for like any faulty downloads you might get from downloading from the server. So you link, you click on the link, you save it to somewhere that you know that's you'll actually use it at, and then you have to actually put it. Now the files inside that folder they get a download um, will contain some information inside now let me find a folder right here okay so as you can see this is my local disk and you see that I have my my folder over here with my Android SDK and now I know some of you guys have some weird names on it but make sure just to have a folder with your Android SDK already inside and you could do and if you don't have one you could go on Google Google it around and you find a way how to do it yourself. It's it's not that hard. There's actually a one-click method for it. So um, once you have this folder here, you go to your platform tools and we'll be using um, the fast boot and the ADB. Actually, mostly the fast boot application, but we need all these files to be here. Now, as you can see, I already have some of my bootloader and stuff in here. That's the reason why, is because the file that you downloaded before for the Nexus 7 is actually this. Inside you see the bootloader, the image, and the uh, sh files from Flash All and Flash Base. This is I have a radio so we won't be actually t um, typing in any fast boot commands for radio only for the bootloader and updating with the image. Now once you have this you copy all these files and you put it inside your your platform tools area where your fast boot should be there so you you know right click and paste I already have mine in there and now once you have that in your folder you open your CMD command prompt and you have it there now of course you have to forward your directory to the aid uh, the Android SDK folder so I'll be doing that right now and I'll do this in steps so you could guys could understand those are kind of you know new to this um, so once you have that directed to your SDK windows you have to direct it to your platform tools so we put SD platforms dash tools now there's an easier way of doing this you could just forward slash and put platform tools right here but I'm taking it step by step and I failed with that one how come? Oh because I spelled platform wrong look at that college education failed right there <laughs> um, so once you do that type it in you have your platform tools right there and now you actually have to type in the commands to doing this first you have to put your device in fast boot mode 
actually not fast boot bootloader mode so to do that you actually have to have your Nexus 7 device right in front of you obviously and you see that you have the power button and a volume rocker now you have to do the three finger salute and once you do that your Nexus 7 device should boot up to the bootloader menu so you see right there on the screen it should have bootloader start and all the good stuff now the device should have its unlocked bootloader so if you don't have an unlocked bootloader don't do this procedure make sure your Nexus 7 has an unlocked bootloader unlocked bootloader not unlocked booty <laughs> unlocked booty anyway um, unlocked bootloader to actually do this now once you have that now you have to actually type in the commands to continue on this procedure first you type in actually We'll be actually typing in to flash the. We'll be telling Fastboot to flash your bootloader. So you type in Fastboot, flash, bootloader. Now remember, some people get confused right here, and to just type in the name of the bootloader right here, you actually do space, bootloader, dash, and now once you have that, you type in the name right here, which is bootloader dash grouper dash 3.34. Type in grouper dash 3.34 dot what is that? An image. Yep, an image. So once you have that, you press enter and it will be waiting for your device. And obviously, I don't have my <laughs> Nexus 7 connected to my computer. So, of course, remember, folks, connect your Nexus 7 device to your computer. And once you have that, your bootloader should be writing should be written inside your Nexus 7 device and if you actually could see on the top left corner it should be saying signature match on your bootloader screen on your Nexus 7 device once it once it's done it should only take like a few seconds like 10 seconds or 12 seconds the most you should have that already set in inside your Nexus 7 device now once you do that now you have to reboot your bootloader to actually take effect so put fast boot for boot dash boot loader once you have that your Nexus 7 device should boot back into its bootloader and now we'll go to the next procedure now remember this device doesn't have a radio so we won't be flashing a radio here we will actually be um, activating its update so we'll be actually typing in a command that will actually let the image be set inside your Nexus 7 device. So you type in fastboot dash w dash update image. Now, as you can see right here, we'll be typing in the name of your Nexus 7 image, which is image dash Nikasi dash JRM 84D. So let's continue off doing that. Nikasi dash JRN 84D. And that's a zip file, so put that zip. So once you have that, you click enter. And remember, do not touch your Nexus 7 device at all. So you won't have a ultimate brick of some sorts. So right now, it should take a few seconds. Actually, a couple of seconds, maybe a minute the most. But right now, we'll be writing the recovery, the boot, the bootloader. Checking the bootloader, actually not writing the bootloader and it will be sh checking every single process to restore your Nexus 7 back to its original form and remember guys this will delete all data off your Nexus 7 device so if you have an important picture of that girl that you like or I don't know some crazy screenshot of a skill kill streak you gain in Battlefield 3 or something remember to back that up because it's going to be gone as we restore this to its factory image form of the Nexus 7. Also, this is actually a premature step. Um, there will be more procedures later on created by um, some great guys on XDA that most likely wouldn't cause you to go through this procedure. This is more like a last step procedure just in case you have gone to like the Omega brick form or you just want to return to your device or send it back to uh, some sort of warranty. So this is like the last option. Most likely there will be a one clicks method or like some sort of method just to restore your device back to normal without dealing with all this stuff. Um, 
also remember this only works for the Nexus 7 remember uh, what else do not touch your device at all <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you that's the truth do not let nobody touch your device because um, I'll be honest if somebody touches it you're screwed if they touch it in a certain way that's what she said I think anyway uh, as you can see on the screen it's creating your file system right now and remember this works for both 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte version right now I have the 8 gigabyte version from Google I.O. and I'm testing this for you guys so you guys can have a way at least to restore back from some I don't know messing around with your device because uh, I actually had to go through this a couple times when I was mm -hmm. messing with the DPI so it took 128 so two minutes basically right there it took two minutes to do this so if it takes longer than that five minutes or something something might be going on but you know after two minutes it should be good as you can see on the screen right now the Nexus 7 is booting back and you can see the Nexus 7 bootloader on the screen you see the little Android guy right there looking at you like you know you tempted <laughs> like you better restore my damn Nexus 7 back to no now I'm joking anyway but um yeah guys this is remember guys this is a precaution um remember to follow exact same code um lines of code do not mess with anything like typing any other factory images in your Nexus 7 device um most likely it will check it and decline it either way but just in case you don't want to be in super dead brick mode with this beautiful device that we have so um I'll be just waiting for this Nexus 7 to boot back and you can see that it just popped up with the storage information on the screen and we're back to normal so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know it took a while like around uh, how, long, how long it took 12 minutes right there <laughs> um, I'll be trying to cut this a little bit short but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please rate subscribe I'll be doing more Nexus 7 videos and future ROM reviews and installations Alright, take care. Bye. And stay blessed. I forgot about that.